Hey folks, Mr. Mitchell here. Welcome to the fourth in a series of six videos where we look at the key definitions that you need to know for the National 5 Physics exam. Now I'd recommend that you make your own flashcards from these definitions by writing the word or term on one side and the definition or the meaning on the other. So let's get started. To kick off the definitions for properties of matter, we have heat. And heat is defined as a measure of the total kinetic energy of the particles in an object. And notice the phrase here, total kinetic energy, as this makes it different to the definition for temperature. And here's the definition for temperature, which is a measure of the average kinetic energy of the particles in an object. So for heat, we have the total kinetic energy, and for temperature, it's the average kinetic energy. Next we have specific heat capacity, and this is defined as the amount of heat energy required to change the temperature of one kilogram of a substance by one degree Celsius. Moving on we have specific latent heat, and specific latent heat is the amount of heat energy required to change the state of one kilogram of a substance. Being a bit more specific with our definitions though, we have two types of specific latent heat, which are specific latent heat of fusion and specific latent heat of vaporization. So specific latent heat of fusion is defined as the energy required to change one kilogram of a solid into a liquid at its melting point. So remember fusion just means melting. And next we have the specific latent heat of vaporization, and this is defined as the energy required to change one kilogram of a liquid into a gas at its boiling point. So remember vaporization just means evaporating. Next we have pressure, and pressure is defined as the force per unit area, and this just comes from the equation. Moving on we have absolute zero, and absolute zero is defined as the temperature at which the pressure in a substance is zero. This occurs at minus 273 degrees Celsius or zero Kelvin on the Kelvin scale, where we assume that the average kinetic energy of the particles is zero. Moving on we have Boyle's law, and Boyle's law says that for a fixed mass of gas at constant temperature, pressure is inversely proportional to volume. So all this means is that as volume increases, pressure will decrease. Next we have Gay-Lussac's law, and this says that for a fixed mass of gas at constant volume, pressure is directly proportional to temperature when it's in Kelvin. So what this means is that as temperature in Kelvin increases, then pressure will increase as well at the same rate. And it's important to remember that this only works when temperature is measured in Kelvin. And lastly we have Charles's law, and Charles's law says that for a fixed mass of gas at constant pressure, volume is directly proportional to temperature in Kelvin. So what this is saying is that as temperature in Kelvin increases, then volume increases as well at the same rate. And again, this only works when temperature is measured in Kelvin. That's all for this video, folks. I hope you found it useful. If you did, give it one of these, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.